up, Wade, and wake up. Come on, you great drunken oaf. This isn't funny. No, everything is not okay. I can't wait. They keep muttering things. Strangely similar things, as though they're all... Makes no sense. I've heard rumors of man affected like this. Lulled into sleep by a strange force, never to awaken again. They just lie there, empty, as though their soul just upped and left somewhere. I don't know what to do. That's my husband there. My Waylon. I don't know what I'd do without him. Well, I ain't going to turn you down. I should warn you, though. A warrior named the Raptor came here, but he terrified me. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I gave him a restless sleep potion, an old recipe I learned from a witch. She said it would let me visit the world of dreams. He drank it and then seemed to fade away to somewhere else. You'll need to drink it. I'm not afraid to say that I fear the Raptor. You hear stories of protect my Waylon, would you? I know he's a drunkard, but he's my... You'll need this if you want to follow the raptor and Waylon. If it has the effect I think it will, you'll enter some kind of dream world. This story starts under the sea, in the home of my sisters. But I knew, if my sisters heard me, they would roll up some kelp and force it into my mouth. One night, my sisters were out hunting. I swam from my home, and came... There were so many people on the docks, working and talking, but they could not see me in the... Keep talking, witch. Makes it easier to find you. to stop me then you have a problem and that problem is standing in front ha it's too late to save Waylon. come to me my men gather to heal only thing left to do is kill keep your distance don't try to stop me so i sang an old mermaid song and then fly goldfish Sailors on the dock heard my song, and I could see the adoration. But then they stepped into the sea. I lifted the dead bodies back onto the land. I could barely swim home. With the... My sisters taunted me. Even the town changed its name to Witch Haven. My body is yours forever. I knew I should warn those men, so I swam for the town again. This time, I climbed onto the land and sang for the men of the field. There was no water to drown in, and they looked at me with such... But then the men 
saw one another. They became jealous. And they fought. They hacked at each other, beating flesh and bones with rocks. I learned new songs. I found I could affect men in other ways. One song allowed me to attract the souls of dreaming men. They would love me, even as they slept. Night or day, I was surrounded by those who loved me, and I loved them back. Walking the world, sharing the love of dreams. It was overpowering. It came so easy to me. But a furious soul. It burned with rejection, fear. Approached the furious soul. It screamed, so I cried a tear, and the water extinguished the. Although it didn't rage anymore, the soul had burned down, as if only a spark. I gave it the breath of life, keeping its heart pumping and alive. The soul was weak, so I gave it some of the energy I gathered. I allowed, allowed it to regrow. The soul felt new growth and purpose, but it needed time to become strong. It grew stronger than any soul I have ever encountered. It was so powerful, so overwhelming. And then, there was darkness. My st but that story is for another time. All that is left is to repeat the story again. Come to me, my men. Gather to hear my story. This tale starts under the sea, in the home of my... I guess this is the end of the line. No one can make that jump and survive.
It would be foolish to leave. <laughs> lapping at the shore, a soft, soft sand. How can I believe you, trespasser? Still, I will, I will sing the waking song, then we'll see who is dreaming. Drop dreams ballast and rise to air, shed its darkness for morning glare. Let the sun... Gods! No! No, this can't be! What infernal place is this? What has been done to me? Wait, I remember. I was swimming in some caves. I found a soul that was so alone. It... Gods! I wake from a dream to return to a nightmare. No. No, I... Oh no. My song. Uh, the old lady. The dragon. She must have been using me to lure them he I know it's only a small means of reparations, but my waking song has sent the other souls back to their If you can let me out, I might be able to repay the favor and help you escape. I know an introduction won't help things, but my name is Remora. When I was eaten by the dragon, I wore a necklace of some power. It should be able to help us get out of this nightmare. Find you. I'm going to put an end to your witchcraft. Time to die! No, please! It's not my fault! Killing her is the only way to stop this happening again! That's right. If we can find my necklace, then I can teleport us out. All you have to do is get me out of here, and it's yours. <sighs> Fine! You get us out, and I'll let you live a bit longer. But I'll be keeping an eye on you. I understand. Grab my crossbow from the floor. It should burst the cyst and be ready. I imagine that bursting it will not make the...
Not me. You should go. Let her know what happened. Here, take this. It was the sirens. She won't have any use for it. White knights say you can get more in the cave. Don't care for them myself. I prefer my frail. I cannot thank you enough. Wayland's a little groggy, but that's no different after a normal night's drinking. Thank you. Quiet, Waylon. The adventurer doesn't need to hear your drunken ramblings. We're in your debt, and you can be sure that I won't let him drink. Ensconced from those who have no right, numberless and unseen from the eyes above. 